everyone and welcome back to the island of Misei. My name is Kara and today we will be recording a fun little speed build of my entryway and a renovation of resident services. As you can see my resident services is quite close to the airport but I'm totally fine with that as I'm trying to embrace resident services as a place that I can enjoy on my island rather than trying to hide it and thinking of it as something that's in the way or ugly. As you can see, I'm beginning with terraforming a large block along the southern coast of my island. And basically this is to provide a very nice viewing area. And I'm planning to take this along the entire southern coast at some point, as well as up along the eastern coast. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm planning to have quite tropical beaches and I would like to separate them from the more European style areas I have planned for the center of the island. I'm also trying to strategically keep all of my villagers from sitting down while I'm trying to terraform. I know that's a big problem that lots of people face while they're trying to terraform. And the only advice I can offer is to cover where they're about to walk as quickly as possible and then fill in the rest. It looks a little less tidy while you're doing it, but it's a lot easier to prevent them from sitting down in the middle of your project. Next, I'm going to begin laying down some custom pathing. This one's called Marble, and well, it's spelled Marbel, which is interesting. And I love how it looks like tiles on grass. It will change through the seasons to match whatever color grass is underneath of it. But I am considering changing it to a gray version, um, which I'm sure some of you have seen for autumn and winter, just because I know in winter it won't look very good with the white underneath. This is a fun little tip I have, um, just putting interesting items that you're thinking of using on the ground near your build so you don't have to go all the way back to your house when you need items. I think it really helps um, with making a more efficient build. Then I'm choosing to add a white plank ramp straight from the airport onto our big elevated area. I personally think the white ramps are super underrated. I feel like everybody uses either the stone or the brick staircases or they go for the more natural looking ramps. But I think the white looks beautiful um, and a little more put together since it's painted. As you can see, I'm adding some simple panels. I'm obsessed with simple panels and I never have enough of them. You might have noticed that these designs are not anywhere else on the internet. This is actually the debut of these designs. Um, I've made them myself and I'm going to include the creator code in case you're interested in using them. They're inspired by some of the brick buildings in Paris and I'm going to be using them in one of my next builds to create one of my favorite squares of the city. And I hope you guys like them. I think putting the fireplaces right behind the panels really helps make them seem cohesive even though they do end up being slightly taller than the cliff that they're in front of. Even though the brick color doesn't match perfectly, I do think it makes them look like cute little buildings. If you guys are interested in using these panels, I would love to see what you do with them. If you could share it with me on Instagram or Twitter, that would be very much appreciated. I love to see the things you come up with, or just to make new friends on there. So you can find me on Twitter, at Mise, same with Instagram. Everything's the same. Um, so yeah, come say hi. Something you may have noticed as I've been decorating is that I tend to crop out almost all of the bits where I'm digging around in my pockets but also where I'm going through my custom codes. And part of why I'm doing that is to make the video shorter. I really didn't want you guys to end up watching a hour long video because I don't think anyone has that kind of patience for me. But I did think that it would be fun to keep all of my custom designs that I've been working on secret until I can show them to you in a completed build. So. I have a couple in the production right now and I'm just going to keep them hidden throughout this video and then I can surprise you with them later. So I'm sorry that you can't see all of the panels and other designs that I'm planning on using for the rest of this island, but I hope the surprise is worth it. If you are interested in seeing some of the new designs I'm working on, I'm most likely going to post them on Instagram 
first just because I have barely any followers there, but I'm putting them on YouTube pretty much second from the moment that they're available. So if you're subscribed to this channel, you will see the new codes that I come up with right away as soon as you can download them, so don't worry about that at all. Sometimes I'll post some whips on Twitter, but I don't usually do that because then I get people asking for the codes before they're finished and I feel bad disappointing them because they probably won't remember to ask again once they're done. Returning to the build, I've put a nice fountain directly centered in front of resident services as well as a very large butterfly model in this little hedged in garden to the side. And Part of the problem with this resident service placement is that it's off-center to the airport, but I thought I could turn that into a feature by um, using the fact that it's not centered to get a little more space in front so that the fountain could be lined up properly, since on the other side where the staircase is, it needs that space, and I couldn't bump it out any further. Now I'm beginning to terraform a few little bump outs. I'm going to put some little waterfalls on here just to add a bit more interest. And in this area next to resident services to the right is where I'm going to be building a Parisian canal soon. So I'm hoping that these will provide a nice vantage point to get some beautiful pictures, but it won't obstruct the view too much, which is why I'm keeping them relatively simple. This part of the build was quite frustrating for me just because I didn't know what I was doing um, in advance. For the rest of the build, I had a very clear idea of what I wanted to do, and this time I just didn't. I haven't done a lot of waterscaping before, so this was very new to me. I was very inspired by Tanya Heaperizen's video on waterscaping, little waterfalls and things like that, which did help a lot. Um, you can see some of the shapes that I'm using pretty much directly come from that video, and it was super helpful to me. Since this area is kind of um, bringing together a couple different areas of my island, it's a dramatic entryway, but it's also tying into the more tropical areas in the front, directly into the more Parisian-inspired areas, but also hopefully extending all the way to the left where my Mykonos-inspired build is. I tried to keep the decor a little more just plain elegant and less specifically French looking. Um, that's why I'm using some Nova Lights, garden wagons, butterfly models, uh, those kind of semi-generic but definitely really beautiful items. As you can see, I'm changing my mind frequently or I'm finding that I need to get rid of some waterscaping in order to um, figure out what I wanted to be doing or even just to access a spot that was no longer accessible. I'm also adding some trees directly in front of resident services, but not so in front of it that you can't see what's going on in the plaza. Part of why I was really motivated to make myself love resident services is because it's definitely a big place for the animals to spawn and they're always doing fun little things over there. So I didn't want to have them just shoved off to the side or sequestered and kept away from the rest of the island because they are always being super cute over there and I just wanted it to be an area where I'd be basically compelled to take pictures of how adorable they are and how pretty their surroundings are while they're doing it. Also I do apologize if my voice sounds a little rough in this, I do have a cold Unfortunately, it's just part of the fall season situation. There's a lot of golden rod blooming around here recently, and that's what gets me. So I apologize about that. Anyways, I am building another little waterfall over here. You'll see red walking around. This is actually the first day I was able to buy art, and I'm very patiently holding off on upgrading the museum just because I'm considering using that beginning in a build that I'm going to do to decorate the museum. Uh, if I get too impatient, I might just donate it anyways, but for now, I'm holding off on donating what I got from Red. It is really cute to see him walking around in the background here though, I'm kind of obsessed with that. As I was re-watching this footage, it was just so funny that he was walking around on my island. 
because that literally only happens once in the entire game. You can see Lolly walking around on the background. Um, she is thinking about asking me to do a scavenger hunt. I did actually stop filming. You can see a cut right there. Um, the item was actually really close to where she was standing, so that was a little bit amusing. Um, I do tend to get distracted while I'm filming these, which is why they are so, so edited. I just don't want people to get bored watching me knock down balloons or go do whatever the villagers want me to do. So I do spend probably a day or two editing these videos before I'm able to post them. Now I'm getting a stone staircase. I actually left this spot three spots wide just so I had somewhere to go up and down instead of going all the way around my little waterfall. And I went for a stone staircase on this side because going into the Parisian area, I'm planning to have a lot of cobblestones, a lot of grey stone. Um, so hopefully that will match quite well in the future. I'm really trying to avoid um, getting rid of any infrastructure just because that's really sad. It's a big waste of money. Alright, and fast forwarding to the next day, our stone bridge is done, it looks beautiful, and it is time to begin our resident services build. I'm just trying to make something that really blends in pretty well with resident services, which is why I've gone for this brick design to begin with. Um, I'm building a large platform behind resident services so that I can have several layers of simple panels up here. And I'm also trying to have a cute little rooftop area. I saw some Japanese people doing this um, on Animal Crossing Twitter and on Instagram and I thought it was super cool they would make little rooftop areas where you could walk up and just hang out. Um, it's pretty common to use towels with this design on it, which is whatever rooftop design you're doing. Unfortunately, I didn't have that much space, so I just went for little cushions and things. But I do think it turns out quite cute. So I was also a little indecisive with this area just because I wasn't sure about the amount of space that I have. Um, I just knew that I needed to cover the bottom half of the top layer of panels just because it looked like half a window, which is a little odd. So I considered using some brick to cover it since it was pretty much the same color as the brick in my panels, but it just didn't look very good so I changed it. Um, even with the cypress plant, it just didn't, didn't quite work. So I stuck to the iron and stone fences and then I added some little hedges in to fill the gap. In this area behind this rooftop, I'm planning on putting my French cathedral based on Notre Dame and some of the other chapels in Paris. However, I might hold off on doing that build until October just so I can make kind of a spooky graveyard situation since it's Halloween coming up. Currently I'm building a little um, ledge just so I can get back behind the panels that I'm putting up and starting to build the upper rooftop area where we'll be able to sit. Anyways, for the cathedral, I've actually already completed the stained glass um, pattern that I'm planning on using. I made my own for it, based off Saint-Chapelle in Paris, and it's really beautiful. I've actually already uploaded a couple colors of it. I think I put up a green and maybe an orange, um, so you can have more of a summer greenery stained glass or a sunsetty autumn colorway. And then I'm going to update with some pink and blue shortly. And then finally, once I upload my video of the cathedral build, you can see the original purple. As you can see, this upper platform area where the rooftop sitting spot is will provide a really nice viewing area for everything that's built behind it. That's something I try to keep in mind when making all of my builds, is making sure that it's possible to get a good view of what I've built. Um, just so the pictures will be nice. I'm a photographer in real life, so I'm definitely always concerned about angles and views and things like that. 
One little trick that I did take from the Japanese builders is putting the roof tile code on customized items so that it blends in, which I did with the um, tableware. And I just wanted this to be a cute little place. In Paris, my friends and I would sneak up to the roof of our building and just have a glass of wine or some fun up there. Um, took a lot of pictures. It was kind of chaotic, but super fun and definitely pretty dangerous. So I would not recommend doing that. I think it's illegal, but it's a lot of fun. So maybe one day you will do it anyways. I'm less concerned with what the map looks like, though I do check it a couple times in this video just to make sure that I'm not taking up too much space. Um, now I'm just creating a little bridge over to my shopping area. I probably will be moving all these shops in the future, but I will still continue to have this little water area, so I thought I would make a sweet little bridge. I especially like to add arch tile underneath my custom designs just because I think it adds a really nice texture when you look at it from certain angles. And I'm using the wedding fence once again. Just trying to do a little bit of landscaping, get some variety. And this is my town flag. It's based off the street signs in Paris. And it says the island of Misae on it. And which I like to use just because it kind of creates like a little watermark on my images without me having to edit it in. I still use watermarks. But I just think it's a little bit more fun to use a custom code directly. I have posted in the description all of the design codes for the designs I used in this build, including the one I made myself. So I do encourage you to try that out. And if you do, I would really love it if you could send some pictures to me on Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Or you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, also at Muse. And I'll see you guys next time.